I think you'll all be happy to hear that the mayor has decided to hire Gunsmasher as the fifth member of the Vulcan's Heroes. And Lee, I got a very interesting email from Donna. He wants to know if the Order of Merlin can summon all the Volsung in the world to Asgard to receive golden apples from Queen Lily. I've sent an email to the head of the Order. Since there aren't more than a few hundred Volsung left in the world, I think the Order may see this as a practical way to save them from extinction. Finally, I want to tell you that your test results are back, and everyone who took the second round of tests will be graduating next week. Go on and take the rest of the day off to celebrate, but be in the briefing room at three o'clock as usual. Kitty, you may not be graduating this year, but you are far ahead of most children your age. You'll get your turn. I know. I just hate being the only one who's still in school. I understand. Mutants. Magic. Technology. Martial arts. Once, Lee Walser lived a normal life. Then, everything changed when he was attacked. Now, he's a superhero who draws on the power of all four elements. In a world that needs superheroes, Lee and his friends must take time to master their abilities. But when the time comes, the immortal paladin and team gold will save the world. Hey guys, check out the costume gadget made for me. I even got a bulletproof jacket like yours, Lee. I thought you were already bulletproof. I am, but getting shot ruins my clothes. This is made to last. It kind of reminds me of Batman. Yeah, I told Gadget to make it as close as he could without getting me in trouble. But don't worry, I'm not going to change my name to Batwolf. Mr. Arden is calling. Hello, team. I hear congratulations are due all around. I'm very happy for all of you. I like the new costume, Predator. Gadget, I need to see you in my office. We need to go over some scholarships you could qualify for through a show. I know you're eager to further your education. Yes, sir. I want the rest of you to hit the streets. Lee, you're on the East Precinct. Kim, you're on the South. Billy, you uh, take the West. Mike, I want you to take the North and keep an eye out for that wolf gang. I know you've had contact with them in the past. See if you can get any intel on their current activities. Finally, Dr. Weird, I want you to go to the museum. Mr. Pirelli, one of the uh, curators, uh, thinks he has some haunted or cursed artifacts. I sure love going on patrol. I sure hope we get the Volson Hunter before I turn 18. I hate to have to keep watching my back or have Dr. Weird and Mr. Argent tell me I can't go on patrol anymore. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? They're kidnapping that woman! We've been spotted. It's Paladin! Last and quick and let's go! Ouch! Those lasers hurt! Get his leg so he can't follow us! We'll go! Ouch! My leg! What about him? He knows what to do. Can't move my legs! This is the first time I've ever used any of these throwing stars. I'm sure glad Charlie made them. Paladin, I'm in pursuit of a white van with no license plate headed east on 1st Avenue North requesting backup. Dadgummit, I can't remember how to use the tracers. I'll call Gadget. He must have teleported away. Paladin? Gadget, I'm in a big hurry. How do I use the Tracer app on my phone? But at that moment on a freeway on-ramp... By the time I was able to try to follow, they had gotten on the freeway with too big a head start for me to catch them. The police were keeping an eye out for them, but no one reported seeing them. 
The throwing star you threw at the van stayed with it for a long way. I want you and Predator to go to the scene where you saw the kidnapping, then head down to Wetumpka where we found the throwing star. I want Lee to drive you down to Wetumpka. You may have to be there a while. Get a nap in the car on the way down. Once you start there, you need to start your investigation right away. Why are we driving? So you'll have a way to get around while you're in Wetumpka. I don't know where this investigation will lead you or how long it will take. Don't worry. We'll get you back in time for graduation. Go ahead and get started. As for the rest of you, it's late. Go get something to eat and head to bed. Kim, tell Sharon, Kathy, and Shelley that I'll need one of them to go on patrol tomorrow. Don't worry, Mike. I had some food sent to the car for you. Thanks, Mr. Argent. What is it? Burger King. All right. Is this where that guy was when he vanished? Yeah. It's the same ozone smell as our teleport room. Well, did you pick up the suspect scents? I can't tell yet. There are a lot of scents here. But if we get to Wetumpka and I recognize someone, we'll know something then. You can recognize a scent like that? Yeah, scents are like faces to me. Two hours later. Paladin arrives at the Wetumpka police station to get his throwing star and find out what the local police have learned. I'll just let Mike sleep till I get to the crime scene. Hey, you must be the superhero from Birmingham. They told me to expect you. I've got your throwing star back here. Can I talk to the detective working the case? Uh, we don't really have anyone on the case. We just got a call asking us to go where we found the throwing star. It was in the Walmart parking lot. Well, did you look at the Walmart security videos from the time to see if it showed any suspects? I don't know. The officers who picked it up went home at 11 o'clock last night. They'll be back at 3 p.m. Well, can I go to Walmart and view the video? Sure, I guess. Wait, don't rush off till I give you your throwing star. Hey, Mike, wake up. I got my tracer back and I want you to check it out. Oh, uh, nothing on it was at the scene. Nothing? Yeah, well, the guys at the crime scene were wearing leather and Kevlar costumes. They probably changed before they got out of the uh, van. And they didn't touch this till then. Oh, yeah. Walmart? Is this where they found it? Yeah. They probably spotted it when they uh, stopped at Murphy's for gas and threw it into the Walmart parking lot. You smell gas on it? Yeah. Okay, you check out Murphy's. I'm gonna go to Walmart and ask to see the security camera recordings. You'll probably find out more than I do. A few more minutes. You find anything? I sure did, but I don't understand it. Come look. Look, this guy gets out of the van, finds my throwing star, and throws it at the Walmart parking lot. Yeah, that's great. What's the problem? I threw it at a white van with no license plate. This is a black van with a custom plate. Well, they didn't change vehicles if the star was still stuck in the bumper. The vehicle changed colors. Well, we have the license plate now. Yeah, I called it in. What did you find out? Not much yet. I recognized a scent from the alley, so if I run into the same guy, we'll have a suspect. But until then, that's all I got. Well, we have a face here. Well, let's show his picture around and see if anyone recognizes it. Cool, I'll send this video to Mr. Argent. Hey, you think you can track that van? Maybe. I was going to tell you that. We need to get moving quick while the uh, trail is still fresh. Fortunately, it's late and it's Monday, so the traffic is light. As long as he stays off the freeway, I have a chance. Great. Let me send this video to Mr. Argent, and I'll meet you in the car. Here we go. Uh-oh. This is bad. Now click. And click this too, because that first one doesn't do anything except let you click this one. This one does stuff. This part's really important. Then leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Goodbye!